This right here is the bag that I take with me when I go traveling. I did a video about it a while ago, just when I was getting used to doing videos. And it seemed to be quite successful, nearly 10,000 views. And it's seen me pretty well over the last bunch of trips. And that's it, the Dakota Eco, something like that. Now, since I've had it, it's been around the world a couple of times. And the only thing that's gone is one little zip right there. But Dakota have sent me something else. Let's check it out. Working from the top, you've got the grab handle, which is very handy. It's a different style bag to the one that I'm using at the moment. The grab handle on this, as you can see, is a lot more solid. But this seems like it's, it's well built and it's not coming apart anytime soon. With a lot of weight in it, with a lot of dragging around, let's see. But let's have a little look around a bit more. We've got a zip on there. Nice to see all the zips have got these reinforced sort of hooks there, which is good for me because I can close them all up and put a padlock on them. TSA lock, probably those two there and those three there, just for a little bit of peace of mind. Let's open it up and have a look inside. So that first pocket on the top, for your coins, maybe your glasses. There's no actual protection in there per se. So if you're gonna put your shades in there, make sure you don't put them in direct like that unless you do it with a lot of care. But fits nice and easy. And I imagine I could get it in with the case as well. Let's put those back on because no one wants to see my tired eyes. So inside we've got a whole bunch of pockets. I don't know how well you can see that. Hopefully better than the video I made before. So we've got a nice big pocket there for the laptop. We've got a tablet pocket there. We've got what for me actually could be my sunglasses case there or my power packs. Here we've got a little loop to put the cable through. Phone holder. Well, apparently that's for your battery pack there, but you know, put what you want. And maybe another. There's actually one, two, three loops fixed in and they suggest for your power cable. So you can run your power right the way through. And let's see, this top pocket doesn't have anything for your cables to go through, but frankly, I wouldn't want to put my iPhone, iPod, whatever in there anyway. And that's also one big pocket there. It's a nice light material. I like the color inside or the lack of color that's fine the design is nice and I like the little carabiner there maybe to throw the keys on or something like that or actually my wallet has got a chain so that can go on there so that's one more point that if someone tries to grab something out the back if they manage to get into the bag sneakily that's one more point where my wallet may well be stuck to so if we zip it back up for now or oh, one more thing there's a little loop here with a button so that could be useful perhaps for, in my case, I don't know, maybe, well, I wouldn't want to put the umbrella there, but eh, maybe some clothing or something else. So we'll click that one back there. That's pretty much everything inside. It is nice and roomy, actually. You're getting all that space there. So you could get your 17 inch laptop in there. I'm only carrying around a MacBook Air 11 at the moment, so that's fine. Plenty of room for other bits and pieces. Not a lot of protection if your gear is going to be rolling around, but I'm sure you can work that out yourself. Maybe use some small little cases if you're carrying cameras and stuff, but that's fine. You've got quite a decent sized pocket there. Not for your hands, obviously, but for your water bottle, stuff like that. And exactly the same on that side. You've got a loop there and there, and two hooks at the bottom too. So maybe for your tripod or your umbrella, which actually, I need to test if it's waterproof. If you open this up here, you could even put it in there. Or if you prefer to put your water bottle a bit safer, you could put it in there. So, decent. 
this is probably not as clear as <laughs> the first video I did and the same configuration that side it's nice that it's all pretty even on both sides um, I'll be honest no offense Dakota but I'm not a fan of branding hence this one has the tiniest little tag on the back the only bit of branding that's really going to bother you with this bag if you're really a freak like me is that but it goes nicely with the design of the bag so actually you can't really complain too much and i think i would still use it let me look on the bottom to see if it's got a rain cover it does not so we need to see if this is going to be waterproof because on this last trip i went on hence i'm a bit behind on videos it rained really really bad the worst rain in colombia for example since 2011. Oh, you want to know that your gear is going to handle the rain i've got a feeling this would actually otherwise i think they would have included a rain cover as i got with this one that shot's never going to get decent is it if you look at the back the straps are nice and padded some nice high density foam in there and again loops galore well not on that one loops there loops there all so you can attach stuff to it interestingly i didn't know about this obviously you've got the little clip on the back there you've got a little pocket there so for extra security and that's the other side of the nice thick padding so this will be nice for your back as well but there you could put some stuff that you definitely don't want anybody getting into as you're walking around now obviously if you live in a big city you might well be carrying this <laughs> see if we can do it like this for a while which i've seen a lot traveling around but you know how to work out your personal security but i think this bag is pretty secure but i didn't show you where the actual laptop bit is mainly because I've only just spotted it. Told you it was a first look. Right in there. Can you see that clearly? Let's see if I can drop it down. So you can bring that side down and you've got all that space. You've got two slots there, Velcro holding it together. Even the bit in the middle is padded. So you could put your laptop straight in even without a sleeve. Let's see what the blurb says. 23 liters, empty weight, 800 grams, made of polyester, maximum size 415 by 280 by 40 mil. So this should well fit in your carry-on luggage, no problem. And there's a little QR code there so you can check out if your device will fit. Lifetime warranty, very interesting. Uh, thanks for stringent production guidelines and quality checks Dakota offers a lifelong warranty for potential material and processing defects on its notebook cases for Germany limited to 30 years this bag lasts me 30 years that would be amazing nothing these days lasts 30 years surely so the blurb continues all this stuff you can read yourself obviously it's completely empty so it's not going to feel like anything now i only ever use this kind of strap when i'm really tired walking through an airport or something this is probably a backpack a bit bigger than what i'd really need to use although maybe as my emergency backpack i may well have all the space i would ever need and i'm going to give this a good go out next time i have to go on a session a bit further away bit out of town when I have to get the train like when I go down to London for example I think I can get all the gear that I need in there it doesn't draw too much attention it blends in nicely with my boring colors <laughs> and it's got some real nice pockets and I really like the padding on that so that's about it Dedicota Backpack Active XL check it out I'm gonna leave a link below 23 litres, weighs 800 grams. It's made of paper, that can't be right. I better check that. You can fit a notepad in it. I'm clearly not making any sense now. And it's LT, I better open this up so I can see what 
is going on. If you're watching in Spanish, mochila acolchada para portátil de poliéster. Tu portátil no es de poliéster. La mochila. <laughs> anyway, back to English before I completely ruin this. Should have done it in German really, as this is made in Germany. And you get a nice little card there. None of the big bosses wrote to me though. You know which bag I really want. Danke schön. Oh man, <laughs> I've completely forgot German now. Ich habe alles vergessen. That's, that's not right, is it? <laughs> Do not despair. The new stuff is gonna be up very, very soon. We've got past 4,000 subscribers. I don't know how that happened, but thanks to you all out there. Leave a comment below, be part of the team. This is just one man's view. Now it's time to hear from you. Oh man, 2017 and I'm still super cheesy. It's all right. By the way, in case you're wondering, we're gonna be looking at the Fujifilm X-Pro2 Graphite Edition. We're gonna be checking out the Fuji XF 23mm F2. We did the 1.4. Finally, I'm gonna show you the F2. We're gonna be looking at the Fujifilm X100F. We're gonna be looking at the GFX 50S. That's right. Why am I doing this? You know what we're gonna be looking at. If it's good, we're gonna be checking it out. That's it. It's just, just waffle now. I thought I'd already turned this off ages ago. <laughs> oh, it's a bit dirty.